damaged souls still have worth. A shop owner placed a sign above his door that said, Puppies for Sale. Signs like this always have a way of attracting young children, and to no surprise, a boy saw the sign and approached the owner. How much are you going to sell the puppies for? he asked. The store owner replied, Anywhere from $1.30 to $1.50. The little boy pulled out some change from his pocket. I have $2.37, he said. Can I please look at them? The shop owner smiled and whistled. Out of the kennel came Lady, who ran down the aisle of his shop, followed by five teeny tiny balls of fur. One puppy was lagging considerably behind. Immediately the little boy singled out the lagging, limping puppy and said, What's wrong with that little dog? The shop owner explained that the veterinarian had examined the little puppy and had discovered it didn't have a hip socket. It would always limp, it would always be lame. The little boy became excited. That is the puppy that I want to buy. The shop owner said, No, you don't want to buy that little dog. If you really want him, I'll just give him to you. The little boy got quite upset. He looked straight into the store owner's eyes, pointing his finger, and said, I don't want you to give him to me. That little dog is worth every bit as much as all the other dogs, and I'll pay full price. In fact, I'll give you $2.37 now, and 50 cents a month until I have him paid for. The shop owner countered, You really don't want to buy this little dog. He's never going to be able to run and jump and play with you like the other puppies. To his surprise, the little boy reached down and rolled up his pant leg to reveal a badly twisted, crippled left leg supported by a big metal brace. He looked up at the shop owner and softly replied, Well, I don't run so well myself, and the little puppy will need someone who understands. Scene script, voiceover. As we reflect on this tale of the little boy and the limping puppy, we're reminded that every life has worth, no matter how damaged it may seem on the surface. The boy's defiant stand against the shop owner's dismissive attitude towards the little puppy echoes a profound lesson. We all have our own struggles, but that doesn't make us any less valuable. Our differences, be they physical, emotional or otherwise, are not detriments. Rather, they are unique aspects that make us who we are. The boy and the puppy, both crippled, found solace and understanding in each other, proving that strength and value can't be measured by outward appearances alone. So, let's remember this lesson, not just in our interactions with animals, but with each other as well. If you enjoyed this story and want to hear more like it, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And as we part ways today, remember everyone has a story. Let's be kind to each other and let's celebrate our differences. Because just like the little boy and the puppy, it's our differences that truly make us special.